What's going on guys? Welcome to another gameplay video. Today we are testing out a user submitted deck by Spinaraptor. Uh, on the clock is what he is calling this one and I think for very good reason. A lot of what this deck does is set up just a general clock uh, that eventually will kind of grind out the opponents. So uh, to do that we've got things like Chandra's Awakened Inferno which uh, obviously Every plus two that you throw on there is going to increase that clock. You've also got Ill-Gotten Inheritance, which is going to also help with that. Uh, Spawn of Mayhem also does a pretty good job of keeping them on the clock. And then, of course, we've got little damage dealers like Serrated Scorpion as well as Croxa. A really interesting card, one that I haven't played much with but I'm excited to play with, is Captive Audience. I know it's expensive, but it's an enchantment for seven. Uh, as it enters the battlefield, it goes under the control of an opponent of our choice. Uh, obviously, we've only got one. And then at the beginning of that person's upkeep, choose one that has not been chosen. Uh, your life total becomes four, you discard your hand, or each opponent creates five 2-2 two, two black zombie creature tokens. Uh, so essentially, this is just like super, super valuable for us to help hopefully get there uh, really, really quickly. So if we've got, you know, an ill-gotten inheritance, plus maybe a Chandra out, uh, and then they end up, you know, making their life total four, we can kill them in a turn or two, no problem. Uh, not to mention, of course, all these other little damage dealers. So... Uh, we've also got Bone Crusher Giant here as a shock. Uh, that can obviously be for the opponent or uh, just for the opponent's creatures, depending on what we need at the time. Uh, and then the rest of the deck is very focused on just removal. Uh, we've got things like Heartless Act for just kind of single point and shoot removal. We've got Cry of the Carnarium as well as Flame Sweep, uh, which is a bit odd, I'll be honest. Um, I think I would maybe swap out. Uh, this flame sweep, since they essentially do the same amount of damage, I think I would maybe swap that out uh, for something like uh, R Storm's Wrath or something along those lines. That way we can hit more with it. Uh, but regardless, we're going to run it as is. Uh, we do have three Bedevil, again, for some point and shoot removal, and then two Grim Tutor here as a way to kind of pull out some of these really big Haymaker cards that we're going to hopefully need uh, to finish off the game. Uh, as far as the lands go, we do run 25. We've got four Blood Crypt, 10 Swamp, nine mountain and then two castle lockswain just giving us a little bit of card draw uh later on in the game really interesting idea for a deck and i'm excited about it um i do think that this one's going to be really fun and spinner after i i really appreciate the uh the whoops wait for it the uh suggestion here um really a fun deck i think uh at least i hope it's going to be a fun deck we'll see how good it is uh it does have a crazy amount of removal uh, so I have to imagine it's probably going to be able to hold its own, you know, fairly well. Um, I would imagine a deck like this gets very frustrating for the opponent. Um, but that's just my guess. Uh, also, nice and early, got my hot coffee. Mm. Feeling a lot better. By the way, thank you to everybody uh, who, on that Double Masters giveaway announcement video, uh, a few of you just said, hey, I hope you feel better, that kind of thing. I really appreciate that. That's very sweet of you. Um, I do feel quite a lot better now, uh, so feeling pretty good. Happy to get back into some gameplay. <clears throat> uh, hate that I missed today, but it is what it is. Uh, also, really excited. So, um, I believe we're releasing this today. I know we just finished a giveaway, speaking of, um, but... Uh, we're actually very fortunate in that we have officially partnered uh, with Primo Print, who, for those of you who do not know, uh, and I'll probably do a separate video on this, just a heads up, but I just want to, you know, kind of talk about it a little bit here. Uh, Primo Print is who we go through to print our proxies. Um, we create all the artwork and do all that stuff, but then obviously give it to them as a way to uh, finish it off, make sure that it's, you know, the way it needs to be. Um, we do attack here. If they trade off, that's great for us. Um, and so we are, uh, we're very fortunate. We were able to reach out, talk with them. They're a great group of people. They, they do fantastic work. Any of you patrons uh, or anyone who's donated to us uh, in Discord knows they are amazing. Uh, they do a fantastic job. We really appreciate the work that they put in. Um, and uh, we were able to partner with them. And so... Uh, we can officially say that, you know, we'll be posting some stuff on Instagram at their, on their accord, which is great. Um, but we're also, uh, really excited because, uh, they, they are offering a $50 credit, uh, through a giveaway that we're going to be doing, which I think is awesome. I'm really excited for that. I think it's going to be a really great time. 
we probably could have just played Blood Crypt there. That was kind of dumb. But uh, we've got... A, it's it's really going to be fun. It's uh, a $50 credit, plus we're throwing in um, five free proxies. Excuse me. Hair in my mouth. Um, and so we're really excited. I think it's going to be a really awesome time. Uh, super, super great group of people, for real. It's it's an awesome, awesome venture. So, really excited about that. Um, let's see. Let's do this, and let's throw this out. Uh, we'll not attack. We'll block here. Uh, I think we're in the, the game of staying, or relieving as much damage as possible at this point. Um, this is just a big mana deck, which makes sense. Um, thankfully it looks like they don't have a ton to do this turn. Oh, no big deal, just an Omnath. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. <laughs> um, but that is life that we saved, uh, so that's fine. Alright. Um... Unfortunately, we have to pay two there. Play this for spectacle. And the next turn, we actually get to one, two, three, four, five. No, not quite six. We need uh, two more lands, then we can captive audience. But this is a interesting, interesting deck. I really like the idea of this, though. All right. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Thankfully, well, I don't know. Do, are we going to get to kill them first? Maybe not. This is going to be difficult. Um, ooh, really difficult. Yep, that's super good. Chandra. Hmm. Whoops. I mean, we throw it out there, but... I think we're in the damage, or we're, uh... I think we have to do this. Uh, we have to hit this terror. It's just too good not to hit. Uh, we don't attack here. They're probably going to want to kill Chandra. Um, I just have to assume. Um, that plus, by the way, Terror of the Peaks plus Yorian is stupid good. Um, they could hit everything, right? Oh, they're just gonna hit three. Okay, no, that makes sense. That's weird. Um, alright, well. So, next turn we're kind of in... A bad place. Um, so we do have ill-gotten inheritance up, uh, which does mean we could hit in here. We're obviously not going to block. Get a counter here. That's pretty good. We also have captive audience now, though. Um, hmm. This is actually really interesting. So we can hit them for four. We go up four. Uh, is that good enough? So they would have to... Probably not, right? Like, we just get to... Hmm. I think we try it, though. Um, it does give us the best shot, but now we're still in a position where we can't attack. This has reach, so there's no reason to attack. And now they just have to, like, minus this and get rid of everything, essentially. They do lose, you know, Omnath and Paradise Druid, but I think that's fine, given that we're at 13. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, I guess they just get to bounce... Omnath and kill it? Okay, I guess not. They could have, right? They could have just dealt two to it. That would have... That seemed pretty good. Am I... 
Maybe I'm missing it. Um, so we're taking 12. Yep. All right. Well, we tied. This is the first time I have ever seen a draw on recording. That's pretty cool. All right, I'll take it. We got a draw. Um, weird. That was a weird game. That was really cool. Uh, I think they maybe could have done something about that, but that's okay. Hey, we got there. That was the best we could have, I think, hoped for. Um, all right, well, Raptor, you got our first draw on camera, my friend. Well done. Um, uh, but yeah, anyway, back to that Primo print thing. Uh, that giveaway is going to be going on through August 31st. So if you're interested, that's a really great way to do it. Um, we were talking about giving away some digital artwork uh, for people to actually use and like print their own proxies and that kind of thing. Um, let me know if you're interested in that kind of thing. If, if it is something you'd like, um, we can certainly at least try and find a way to do it. Excuse me. Um, we got to be fair and, you know, no copyright infringement and do all that stuff. But like, I just want to, I'd just be interested to see if there's, um, you know, some people who might want that. Um, I love Primo print though. They've been very, very good to us. Their, uh, their quality is fantastic. I uh, also want to address a couple proxy things. One, uh, for those of you who are like, hey, these don't fit into sleeves and stuff like that. Um, cause that's not an uncommon thing. Uh, yes, you're right. It does not, they do not fit in sleeves. Uh, unfortunately, um, for those of you who don't know, Wizards, uh, it's not even actually unfortunate. This is actually for the best, but Wizards, to avoid those people who are trying to, like, just straight create their remakes of their cards and then sell them off, uh, counterfeit cards, essentially, uh, for, for people like that, what they've done is they trim it down from a two and a half by three and a half size. Uh, so that way it's slightly smaller, um, which is great because again, it makes it more difficult for them to, or for, for individuals to do anything about it. But, um, it is a little bit trickier, uh, to, to make an exact size like that. So just a heads up, that's why that is the way it is. Um, it's not something that we, uh, we're not going to go in and trim every single card for multiple reasons. Um, most of all, though, because it just, like, it's not feasible for us to do that. If you want to trim it down, it takes, like, two seconds to do that. You can just trim it down, and then that'll, they'll fit in a sleeve easily. They do already pretty well fit in certain sleeves. Uh, we use Eclipse sleeves for, like, the cube and things like that, and they fit. Uh, they are a bit snug, so, like, I totally understand where you guys are coming from there. Um... But, uh, generally speaking, you know, they work pretty well. So, just a heads up. Um, yep, pretty good. Um, let's see what happens. If they want to block, they can block. They don't. Let's see this, then. Let's just throw some stuff out there. Probably gonna eat a removal spell here on the spawn. Uh, if they've got like a Domery's ambush or uh, something along those lines, but that's fine. Um, it's not great, but like, it's fine. Ooh, very good. Yep. That's super good. Carl Harpooner is a very awesome card, and it works so well with Pelt Collector. It's ridiculous. Um, this isn't really going to save us a ton of damage, but it does, you know, a little something. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I think we pass here. So we, we leave up Bedevil uh, as well as just a block. I think is the right call. Um, this isn't a great place to be, but it is what it is. Sure. Okay. I assume they just attack all, yeah. All right, so, actually doesn't matter that much, does it? This saves us more damage. 
Uh, and then this. We would take an extra point of damage from this uh, because it has trample. So let's keep ourselves out of that. Um, we have to bedevil this now uh, because it gives hexproof, obviously. Um, so unfortunately, that's just kind of what we have to do. Otherwise, I think we would just lose uh, pretty much this turn. Yep, especially now. Um, Chandra, if we can get a land. Ugh, we did not get a land. So we just lose, right? Yeah. All right, well done, opponent. You got us. Uh, let's go ahead, jump into game three, and we will see how we do. Uh, keep in mind, we will do another video, so we'll do another three games uh, with this. So if you're interested in some more of this awesome deck, you can certainly check that out uh, very soon after this. So really, really like this one, though. I appreciate the deck submission. Uh, we've had a lot of deck submissions recently, and I apologize. I haven't been as on top of playing them. Uh, I've kind of just been picking some decks that I've been interested in. Um, woo, this is a very interesting hand. Um, and uh, so I, I did jump back in and look at a few of them. Uh, some of them just kind of didn't really... One of them actually in particular was not standard legal, and obviously we play mostly standard on the recordings. Um, it was historic legal, so maybe that's something we'll jump into. If you guys are interested in historic, we can certainly try it. Um, but... I uh, I really love the fact that we've gotten so many deck submissions recently. It's really fun to look in there and see what you guys are brewing. Uh, and so we will jump into some of those very soon. Um, and I again, I really do appreciate the submissions. It's, it's awesome to see all that. We gonna kill that. Uh, just gonna bone crusher it. All right. Uh, I understand we didn't have to do that on our turn, but um, it seemed fair enough to do. Ooh, that's nice. We still get to kill it, so like that's fine. Um, we just have to bedevil it, I suppose. Uh, or we could just play out the Bone Crusher Giant. I'm gonna try this. So they can eat a creature here if they want. They can eat their own. Um, but we can still block here. And I'm kind of okay with that if they wanted to. It doesn't look like they're going to, and that's fine. Um, so let's just do this. Let's just force them to... Yeah. Gain some life. That's fine. And now we can just start swinging in. We are short on land here, which is a problem. Um, surprisingly, actually. I mean, 25 lands, you would think we'd be pretty consistent with our land drops. So... Ooh, that's a good card. Thankfully, we have the Devil and just Heartless Act, actually, which is much more efficient. Um, boom. Kill that. Kill that with fire. Um, now we get to leave up Bone Crusher Giant. So that's not terrible. Um, okay. How many creatures in the graveyard? Two. So... We can't necessarily just bone crusher it because they're then forced. They just kind of get to eat stuff. Um, so play land. I think we just bedevil. I'm being very aggressive here, um, but they're down to one card in hand. We need one land, and then we're up to Chandra. So like, I'm feeling fairly confident. Um, and they're eating all their stuff out of the graveyard, so, like, it doesn't really, you know, it is what it is. We'll see. Um, there was no point in bone crushing this. It just would have not really done anything. <laughs> yeah. You can resolve all of that's fine. That's fine. All right. Uh, and we attack. Uh, very smart of them to leave at least one creature in here. Um, nice. <sighs> mm, I'm going to hold off. I don't know if that's smart or not, but we're going to hold off. All right. Well, this is very good. Yep. Do it. Boom. All right. 
Now they are on the clock, so to speak. Pelt collector, sure. That's pretty good. Uh, and this is exactly why we leave Bone Crusher in our hand, so we can kill that. <laughs> uh, we'll do that now. If they've got something to save it, they can, but... Ah, okay, sure. Interesting. Huh. That was a lot of not much for what they got out of that. <laughs> uh, we're just going to keep the clock going and then they just lose. There we go. Awesome. <clears throat> All right. Well, uh, this is for the first time I can say we had one loss, one win, and one draw. Uh, I believe that's the first time. Uh, Raptor, I love the deck, man. It's a fun one. Uh, it's a little bit grindy, but that's kind of the idea. So, like, I'm fine with that. Um, I really, really like the incremental value. It feels very similar to the mono black deck we played um, yesterday, in fact, uh, where you kind of small time over time, you kind of just start to gain a lot of uh, extra value and then hopefully grind the opponent out with it. This is the same kind of thing, except you've got a lot of little pingers uh, which kind of do that job for you. Uh, and so I really like it. I think it's really fun. Um, I do appreciate the submission again. If anyone else would like to submit something, they can. Uh, we have a channel in our Discord for that, uh, so feel free. Uh, but again, thank you. Really hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like or a comment if you did, and stay tuned. We will have part two with this Rakdos on the Clock deck submitted to us by Spinaraptor very, very soon. Thanks, guys. I'll see you then.